Hi everyone, it's Miss A, and today we're gonna to try something different. I'm gonna be reading what's called a digital book. That means it's online, so I'm not gonna be holding the book, but you can still see the pictures. And that means this week that I'm going to um, send a link to your parents so they can try to read the story with you afterwards as well. So you can read it all by yourself or with help and look at the pictures. So our story today is called Kite Day. Kite has our back sound in it. So we're gonna open our mouth wide and put our tongue back for kite. You try, kite. And it ends with our tongue up sound. Remember, it's really hard to go from k in the back to t all the way in the front. We have kite day. You try, what's the story called? Good, nice job trying that k sound. It's kite day. Up Bear and Mole Story by William Hellenbrand. So if you look at the cover here, this little picture, what do you think the story is about? Yeah, we see a kite. We know the title of the story is called Kite Day. Bear's holding the kite and his friend, it's not a mouse. You know, it looks like a mouse. It's called a mole. So a mole is kind of like a mouse, but they don't have the big ears. Moles are a little bit bigger and they live underground. And they can't see very well, so they have these noses that they use to smell. But in this story, he's gonna be a character and talk and he'll probably be able to see. We're gonna find out. Bear looked at the sky. Could it be, he wondered? Who is looking at the sky? Yeah, it's Bear. Let's try that, our lips go together. Bear, the bear is looking at the sky. What does he see in the sky? Yeah, he sees clouds and then we see these white squiggles. That's called wind, he sees wind. He tilted his head up, whiff, whiff, whiff. He's, hmm, what is he doing with his nose? Yeah, he's sniffing. Let's try that. That has our sneak sound in the front. Sniffing. That has a lot of our sounds in it. Let's try it one more time. Sniffing. He's sniffing or smelling the air. He smiled and shouted, Kite day! How does Bear feel? Yeah, he's excited. He's jumping up and down. What do you think he's excited for? Yeah, that kite. He's excited for kite day. Bear rushed home. Huff, puff, huff. Oh, let's try that again. Huff, puff, huff. Oh, he's tired. Why do you think he's tired? Yeah, he is running home. You tell me. Nice job using all those words in a sentence. Ooh, let's see what happens next. Come on, bear waved mole. Kite day is here. Ooh, what do you think mole is doing? Yeah, digging, let's say that in a nice sentence. He is digging, you try. He's dropping that big sentence. Bear collected. Hmm, what does that look like bears getting? Yeah, some string, let's try that word. String, one more time. String, he's getting some string. Mole studied. What's Mole doing? Yeah, he's reading. Let's make a sentence. He is reading a book. That's a big sentence. You try it. Nice job trying all those words. Ooh, Bear snatched. What do you think Bear has on his foot? It looks like it's stuck. Yeah, it's glue. Let's try that with our back sound and then our tongue goes up for look. Glue. He's 
got some glue. And if the go sounds too hard, we can just try l, u, lu. I wonder what they're gonna do with that string, glue, and mole studying up on something. Hmm. Bear measured and he cut. What is he cutting with? Yeah, it's a saw. We cut with a saw. Let's try our key sentence with cutting. He is cutting the wood. You tell me. Nice. And here Mole drew. What do you think Mole is drawing? Yeah, he's drawing a kite. Let's say our nice sentence with he. He is drawing a kite. You try it. Nice job. They both constructed. Oh, that's a big word. What do you think constructed means? Yeah, they built or made the kite. So bear first, he cut, measured and cut the wood. Next, mole drew out the kite on the paper. Then they constructed or built the kite. Look, they're gluing the sides. So if I were talking about this picture here, would I say he, she, or they? Yeah, they are making a kite. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew, zoom, zoom, zoom. Where is that kite? Yeah, it's up in the sky. So these fun words, zoom, zoom, zoom. That's like our snake sound. Our teeth are together and air is flowing through and our tongue's right behind our teeth. But we're gonna turn on our voice to make it buzz. You can feel it here. We go, zoom, zoom, zoom. You try. Nice job trying that buzzing sound. That one's fun. Zzz, like our B sound, the B buzzes. Oh, look, Bear looks so happy about that kite. It soared up. Up, up. Then dark clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Uh oh. What do you think is happening? Look, there's gray clouds. And we have these rumbling. That's the sound we could hear. Yeah, a storm's coming. Should we fly kites in a storm? No. Let's see what happens next. The breeze grew into a gust. It went, and then snap, the kite string broke. Oh no, what happened to the kite string? Yeah, it broke. Oh no. How do you think Bear and Mole are gonna feel about that? Thumbs up if you think they're gonna be happy. Thumbs down if you think they're going to be sad. Let's find out. Away, 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 the kite spun. Oh, look, look at Bear's face. He's got his mouth like a, oh, his eyes are tiny. What does he feel? Yeah, he feels shocked or surprised. Is it a good kind of surprise? No, that kite went away, away, away. Oh no, screamed Mole and Bear. Oh no, you can see here they're not very happy. The kite was up, and the opposite of up is down. Okay, help me. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Save the kite, shouted Mole. The two ran. Let's look at the picture. What's happening in the story because of the storm? Yeah, it is raining and they are running. Hurry, 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 urged Bear. Hurry has our hot sound. Let's try it. You can feel your breath if you go. <sighs> Let's try. Hurry, hurry. They're rushing. 
Where's the kite going? Not up, but down. Mole stopped and tilted his head up. Where's the tree? <laughs> Where is the kite? Well, I kind of gave it away. Yeah, it's up in the tree. Trees are kind of tricky when it has two sounds together. Let's try tree. Re. And if we speed it up, it should sound like tree. You try. These jump triangles are tricky sounds. So bear and mole are looking up at the kite in the tree. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the broken kite. Well, that rain's falling on the kite and it's making a splat sound. Look, S-P-L. Those are three sounds squished together. We can try it. It goes Splat, splat. If we speed it up, it'll be splat. That's a tricky one. If you slow it down, you might be able to get it right. You could practice that a few times later. Look, cried bear. Oh, sighed mole. What's up in the tree? What do you see? Oh, let's find out. Chirp, 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 squeaked the chicks. And chicks are baby birds. You're right, they're birds. So what did bear and mole see? Yeah, they saw birds, and birds say chirp. That one's hard. We go ch, like our train sound, chirp, chirp. That's a tricky one to practice later, too. And where are those birds? Where do birds live? Yeah, in a nest. If you didn't know that, it's called a nest. Birds live in a nest. Thank you, sang Mother Bird. Oh, why do you think Mama Bird is thanking Bear and Mole? Let's see, that kite is in the tree and it was raining. So if it's raining on the kite, and the kite is over or above the bird nest. Are the birds getting wet? No, the kite's getting wet, so the birds are staying dry. So Mama Bird is saying thank you to Bear and Mole. So even though Bear and Mole don't have a kite to play with anymore, they're happy because the baby birds are dry and warm in their nest. All right, so now, that our story is over, we're gonna get up and move. It's time to stand up and get moving. So the first thing in the story, Bear was outside and he was sniffing, so we're gonna be Bear and sniff. Oh, and there's wind, sniff the wind. All right, good, and then Bear was so excited, it's kite day, he ran home, he's huffing and puffing, so let's huff and puff and run. Huff, puff, huff, puff, huff. Puff and stop. So when Bear got home, he told Mole that he wanted to make a kite. So he gathered all the things, and we're gonna pretend to make, we have four things to do to make our kite. First we measure, then we saw, next we draw, and last we glue. All right, let's try it, ready? Get your measuring tape, measure, saw, or cut with our saw. We Get our pencil and draw, and then we glue. And we made our kite. So the next thing they do in the story is go outside and the kite goes zoom. So have your kite, get your string, make sure. And we're gonna run so the kite can go up. Ready, zoom, hold that string so the kite goes up, keep going, it goes up, up, up. Hold that string and stop. The kite is up in the air. Uh-oh, listen, what do you hear? To rumble like the storm coming in. Rumble, rumble, clap. That's thunder and lightning. Let's do it again. Rumble, rumble, clap. Oh no. And then the string went snap. You show me. Snap. That string went snap and the kite goes away. We're gonna fly away and down like the kite. Ready? Away and down. Uh oh. The kite went away and down, so we have to run 
Ready, hurry, hurry, run to the tree. You show me run to the tree. And let's look up. Do you remember what they saw in the tree? Listen. Yeah, they saw the bird. Let's be a baby bird. Get in your nest, flap your wings, and chirp, chirp. Be that bird, chirp, chirp. Stop. All right, nice job, friends. You listened to the story. You did your good sounds and made some big sentences, answered my question, and followed my directions to stand up and move. The next part now is to go watch part three with Mrs. C so you can make your kite craft. I can't wait to see how they come out. I miss you all so much. Have a great day.